Fighter planes with the Iranian Air Force have conducted carpet bombing of mock enemy positions amid the aerial maneuvers in the central province of Isfahan. Flying at low altitude, Iran's Sukho 24 and Phantom aircraft practiced a bombardment technique, which features dropping a large number of bombs on enemy targets in an area with the aim of causing uniform destruction. The Air Force's F-4 planes were also backing up the overnight mission by releasing flares to light up the drill zone. Brigadier General Masad Rauskosh, the spokesman for the drills, said this stage of the maneuvers also witnessed aerial refueling of Phantom combat planes at low altitude under the air cover of F-14 jets. Meanwhile, Sukho 24 to Sukho 24 refueling was also performed for the first time at low altitude, the general added. The two-day drills, codenamed Fidei and Eharam e Velayat 7, death-defying defenders of Velayat Sanctuary, 7, began on Tuesday morning. The event enlists the services of all Iranian airbases, with the Shahid Babayi Air Base in Isfahan province playing the central role. Also joining the drills are MiG-29 and Saga, Lightning Bolt, fighter bombers, alongside interceptor aircraft manned and unmanned reconnaissance planes, Boeing 707 and 747 cargo planes as well as logistical aircraft. The aircraft drilled air-to-surface and surface-to-air firing, test-fired highly destructive air-to-air -air munitions, and practiced aerial fire control and surveillance as part of the drill's first stage. They also fired laser-guided, television-guided, radar-guided, and thermal missiles, as well as 500-pound, 226-kilogram, smart and precision bombs. According to Rauskosh, the exercises carry the message of security, stability, friendship, and lasting peace for the countries of the region. The Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force IRIF, takes its underway large-scale maneuvers into their main phase by using indigenous and indigenously overhauled fighter planes to successfully destroy mock hostile targets. Codenamed Fadai and Eharam e Velayat, devotees of the Velayat Sanctuary, minus nine, the drills began on Saturday, enlisting as many as seven airbases and dozens of manned and unmanned aircraft. The Air Force spent the first day rushing the aircraft to the central Iranian province of Isfahan's Shahid Babayi Air Base, around which the maneuvers center. The event spokesman 2nd Brigadier General Farhid Ghadarzi said the first part of the main phase of the drills started on Monday, with indigenous Sikha, Lightning, fighter planes and F-5s destroying the mock target's vital spots with domestically manufactured rockets. F-7s also laid into sensitively designated targets, using domestically produced rockets as well as smart, precision, and standoff weapons, he said. The aircraft carried out the mission beyond the areas assigned for air defense operations and using innovative tactics, the official noted. According to the spokesman, F-14 fighters were also aerially refueled by Boeing 707 tanker planes in order to prepare for low-altitude top cover operations. The IRIF, meanwhile, engaged in electronic warfare, testing advanced communication systems within safe wire-connected and wireless platforms. Before the main phase was supposed to go underway, reconnaissance drones, including the indigenous Cayman, Bo, minus 14s, monitored the assault course with domestically manufactured cameras, gleaning data and conducting electronic wiretapping. The drills, the official noted, carry a message of stability, amity, and sustainable peace for the regional countries, while also serving to assure the Iranian nation about the country's overall security. For enemies, however, the maneuvers carry a message of readiness for defense and crushing response in the event of their mistake or miscalculation, Ghadarzi concluded. The two-day drills saw the use of interceptor aircraft, fighter bombers, medium and heavy transport airplanes, patrol aircraft as well as reconnaissance and bomber drones. 
The fighters included long-range Sukhoi Su-24, F-14 fighters, and Boeing 747 and 707 tanker aircraft. Iranian army officials say the main goal of the maneuvers is to enhance the country's preparedness in the face of potential threats in the region. The military practice included air-to-air -air shooting, air-to-surface bombardment using smart heavy and semi-heavy bombs, radar and thermal missiles as well as homemade rockets and bombs. The drills also used Iran's latest achievements in electronic warfare including long-range search radars capable of detecting missile launches, stealth aircraft and drones. These annual air drills are a chance to both test Iranian homegrown weapons and enhance the country's deterrence against potential threats. Army officials here say the success of this maneuver sends a message of security to Iran's neighbors.